This is Anthony. I'm here today because uh, what we have going on is there's there's a leak in the water gong on the dry system. Now the only reason you would have any water in the going through the water gong is because there's water in the dry system. So we're here to try to figure out why there's water in the dry system. I'm here with Lee. We'll be working together, trying to figure this out, troubleshoot, go over the dry valve. Hi, my name is Lee. I've been in the plumbing industry for four years. Um, I have my S12 and S13 for fire suppression, which allows me to work on systems like this. Today, we're going to be troubleshooting the dry system. And just stay tuned, see what's going on. situations like this where there's no heat in the building so you really wouldn't want water in these pipes at all times because they could freeze and if there's ever a fire nothing's ever going to happen so what we do is we install this dry valve as she explained it is wet down here meaning the water coming from the city comes up to about here stops everything from here is dry now we know that the dry valve has tripped because our dry side and wet side pressures are equal, meaning this is open. We have water in the dry. We walk the building, we realize there weren't any broken sprinkle heads. It was just that the compressor, which puts the air pressure on the air side, on the dry side, wasn't activating. Now we're gonna to try to figure out why. What we're going to look at is the actual pressure switch, which records the pressure on the dry side. And once it drops a certain certain pressure, the compressor turns back on, adds more air to the system. Now how this works is, we're getting 50 pounds of water pressure up into here. On this side, the dry side, we will put, for this building, about 15 pounds of air. We're able to do that because the valve is heavy. It sits, so all you need is about 15 pounds of air to keep that valve closed, to keep everything dry. Once you lose a sprinkle head, all that air starts rushing out, the water follows to put out the fire or whatever's going on. We're going to shut off the water by, by uh, turning it off from the OS and Y valve, and we're gonna drain the system from the main drain over there.
guys out. Next, you're gonna hit the plunger. Once you're done hitting the plunger and resetting the valve, you're gonna hit off. You're gonna turn on the lower body uh, drain valve to make sure everything is dry and there's no water left in the valve. The water on the bottom coming in, 50 pounds, as it is here. In that valve, there's a heavy check that's closed. So the air pressure is able, a low amount of air pressure is able to keep that closed, keep the water back. But once you lose the sprinkler head, the air leaves the, leaves the area, the water comes rushing through, raises that check valve. Water continuously goes, does whatever it has to do. And stays up. The only way to reset that is actually draining everything, hitting that plunger. Now, when you hit that plunger, there's a latch holding on to that check. Once you hit the plunger, latch opens, check falls back down. Then you turn your compressor on, get the air back in the system, try to keep it dry. The system, we're trying to fill our dry side back up with air, and we notice that our compressor is not coming on. So now we need to troubleshoot to see if it's our compressor or the pressure switch on that side. Pounds on the air, 50 pounds on the wet. Everything's working. Everything's 